Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all. In today's session, we will be discussing about how to get PhD position in the United States. Last video I have made on how to get US uh, postdoctoral fellowships and award. So many of the researchers and student has approached me via LinkedIn and my email ID. And they were asking me to make this video about how to get PhD positions and award and fellowships in United States. So let's begin this session. So first thing is that who and why we should do PhD in United States. So as you know, USA is one of the world leading countries who, which spend a lot of monies and infrastructure over their uh, research and developments. And most of the renowned universities like Harvard, Yale, Stanford, John Hopkins are there. So almost like 4,500 world leading universities, both in private and public sectors are there. So they will give you a rewarding perks while doing your PhD position in there. In uh, either you are working in basics and technology oriented areas. So in this session, we will be mostly focusing about biology, life science, and biotechnology related subject areas. So usually it takes around four to six years to complete PhD from United States. And the overall structure of PhD will include combinations of coursework, classworks, lab rotations, which will provide you different skill sets in different technologies. And along with that, they also encourage teaching and mentoring also uh, and research areas, research experience, depending on your subject areas. So if you will go and do your PhD over there, you will get international experience, a comprehensive training, independent skills in doing research. And if you are doing your research in technology related things, then innovative ideas and financial support to perform such research experience and projects. So if you are planning to apply for these application and fellowships, you require certain things and you have to do your preparation in advance, like one year in advance, you should start preparing for all those documentation and the procedure. So mainly they open two times in a year and most of the application procedure you can do yourself also. You have to send them emails, CVs, you have to go and visit the site of the universities and you have to apply uh, for these positions. So depending on your research experience, you can either select your institute, lab, your supervisor, and you have to make your list of selections of your institute and universities over there you want to apply. And then you have to apply on those sites. So application procedure will require you to provide them a good CVs, your resume, along with your transcript from your universities, the courses, what you have done during your masters and graduations. They also ask for a statement of purpose, motivation letters, recommendation letters. So these things will be required over there. Either you are applying directly to the lab or you are taking advantage of the Indian agencies or the scientific, scientific agencies from US, or maybe you are applying for fellowships and award jointly. So there are a lot of options actually. So either you can take the advantage of scientific agencies and bodies from India or from US, or there are dual programs also, which can support these fellowships and awards. For them, you have to actually talk with the lab supervisor and timely apply for those fellowship. So in, in whatever way, either you are getting a full support or partial support, you can still go and you can apply for these uh, awards and fellowships. And if you are getting partial or full support also, there are other ways also by which the universities and institutes support the PhD students. Like they will give you stipend in the form of if you have to support them via teaching assistant jobs and research associate jobs over there along with your PhD program. So 
they will support you all those things so you will be good in giving your tuition fees your accommodation in your financial budget so don't worry about that there are multiple ways you can take the advantage of all those things about the scientific agencies and the bodies which supports like dbt dst indo us programs i have already made one uh, videos about that so you can go and see that video also so you will get the ideas where you can get these support also few other fundamental point which i want to emphasize which can support you while pro uh, your application as i mentioned phd uh, is like you have to work independently on some research projects and research area so you have to apply to a particular lab which suits your research interest like suppose if you are from biology and biotechnology area whether you want to work in basic or technology diagnostic therapeutic cancer biology you have to choose your best labs research institute and supervisor make a list of them and then read their research article because during these interview they are going to ask and judge you whether you are really interested in those areas whether you are capable of doing independent project or not so reading their research publication and research interest and areas will support you in your overall application procedure fine then it is very important because these awards and fellowships are very competitive also so in that way getting a good marks in your graduation and masters good cpg uh, uh, good marks and scores will be required and as we are going to different countries like we are not a native speaker in english so they will judge you in uh, english speaking test and because we are from stem technology and biology background then you have to give TOEFL examination and GRE examinations also. So maintain a good score in your graduation and masters, and then you have to prepare for GRE and TOEFL also. If you are doing a little bit of a training, mini project, dissertation, this is going to enhance your skill and it is going to support you in getting these awards and fellowships a lot. Regarding the publications, it it is actually optional. If you are getting a good quality review article and research article from your graduation and masters or from dissertation, it is good, but the quality is important. Quantity is not important over here. So don't get, get a fake papers or fake, fake, don't submit your important research work in a fake publication. Get a good publication either it is one or two publication only either it is review article only but in a renowned journal with impactful uh, uh, impactful journals it should be so it's optional it should be a, of a good quality okay many of my students who are doing three months six month dissertation they have got uh, fellowships uh, in usa also and in Japan and Europe also, and job opportunities from US also, and without papers, actually, they just have done three month and six month dissertations. So any one of you who are interested, they can approach me, I can separately guide them over of overall procedure to them. Along with that, if you have done international workshops and national and international poster presentation, this is also going to help you a lot because then you can understand the research area. This will give you a platform where you can see what is actually happening in a real scenario, how science is advancing, and you can choose your research topics over there, your supervisors. So participating in national and international poster presentation, invited talk and workshops are very important. And how you can get those international awards, I have made one videos, I think few weeks back, you can watch that video also. Then checking the lab where you are applying to which supervisor you are going to apply is very important because either we are doing PhD in India or abroad. Usually it takes four to six years uh, in life sciences sector and biology sector. It's not a small duration. So to, uh, to check the work ethic, 
work atmosphere, the nature of your supervisor, the publication quality, these things matter a lot. You should avoid all the near future conflict which might ha could happen. So it's better to check all those things in advance while applying for those labs. Then, as I said, that they are going uh, during this procedure, they are going to ask you to submit a good resume, CV, statement of purpose, motivation letter, like why you are joining this lab, why you are interested in doing this research projects, a good minimum three recommendation from your supervisors, from your institute principals, and wherever you have done your training and dissertations. And they will check your transcripts and degrees also. So you have to apply all those things. And obviously you are not going to apply for only one lab or one institute. You have to apply for multiple applications so they require a good amount of fee also so you have to check your financial budgeting also so to summarize all the tips which can help you while your uh, while your procedure and application make your emails when you are approaching any supervisor, very effective, very like you have to tell what you have read, why you are interested, you are you really interested in doing that project. So all effective email, statement of purpose, motivational letter you have to effectively make, which can tell and convey to the supervisor that you are really interested in doing that projects, you have read about their research interests and how your skills are going to help them and how you can like overlap in both these, uh, both these scenarios. Then make your uh, CVs and resume very precisely enhance uh, all the key points, what skills, awards you have got, what trainings you have already done during your graduation and masters. And along with that, uh, effective cover letter should be there. As I mentioned earlier that a timely application yearly two times these openings uh, they uh, open in a regular frequent of six months. So apply wisely take in consideration of getting all these documentation ready, your uh, visas and passport applications, along with all these procedures. Get the supervisor letter uh, recommendation, minimum three letter they will require. And if you have done any independent project and in internship, then you can get the supervisor letter from them also. Passport and visa will also takes almost like six months to one year. So wisely apply in advance all these things. And whether you are getting a partial or full support based on that, your accommodation, financing and budgeting also, you have to uh, maintain because you are going to uh, different countries and now you have to stay there independently. So you have to take your, uh, you, you have to take care of yourself also and your budgeting and your uh, finances also. So plan accordingly. And in, in, in advance, try to do the preparation for TOEFL and GRA also, because this is also must things uh, in our STEM and biology related PhD fellowships and award. Many institute also ask you to give online interviews and presentation, and especially if you have done dissertation and training, they want to check whether you are really interested in their project, whether you are capable of doing independent project, whether you are capable of learning all those new technology and innovations. So better prepare all these presentation in advance in an effective presentation. And most of the time, these things are online and during this COVID time in digital platform only. So I hope this video was useful and this will help you while in your presentations and while in your application procedure. If you find them suitable and useful, do share these things with your scientific endeavor and kindly like and subscribe our channel also. Thank you so much.